Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Scott Hennessy. Some outdoor dining parklets in Santa Barbara have been fighting suspensions, and as Tracy Lair reports, today they lost their appeals. When outdoor dining parklets created during COVID failed Americans with Disabilities Act inspections, the city of Santa Barbara sent out notifications, citations, and even suspensions. Six, including Taza, Cadario, Folded Hills Winery, Courthouse Tavern, Foxtail Kitchen and Bar, and Trattoria Vittoria appealed their suspensions. We were um, going through an ownership dispute. We'll go ahead and vote. Despite hearing about their circumstances and the difficulty scheduling repairs, a majority of council members approved motions denying their appeals. These structures went up, yeah. not really engineered, not really permitted. They were just put up because of the COVID emergency. So they kind of had to try to play catch up with the ADA rules, which are very arcane, really complicated, sometimes very, very touchy, but they are the law. So we don't really have a, an option to not enforce ADA law. Only one is located on State Street, where a majority of the parklets are located. And only one, the winery parklet near the roundabout construction in Montecito, has already been taken down. Without authorization, the rest will be next. It's mainly going to be the cost of having to remove that parklet and just throwing away all the money that went into putting it up and making it nice in the first place. Um, so that will be unfortunate. Since they have boosted business, some are talking to attorneys about other courses of action. In the meantime, they hope customers won't mind dining in instead of out. Come dine at the restaurant, Tetria Vittoria. We're on 30 East Victoria Street, right next to the Granada. You're welcome to come by, um, give us some support. The general manager of Tetria Vittoria says at some point they'd like to build another parklet at a later date. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.